Hello guys, it's Lucas again and what I have here today is how to add the IP camera um, or any other uh, analog camera from the DVR XVR uh, that you have connected to the same network to your intercom. So let me start with the config tool and uh, like you see here I have my setup from the previous video. So I have one door station, two indoor stations and one IP camera in this setup right now. So uh, instead of the one IP camera, it could be uh, multiple different cameras connected to the same local network or the NVR with the cameras added in to that NVR. So the principles will be the same for the whole setup. So we need to go to device configuration. In device configuration, we go to our main indoor station. In the main indoor station, you just need to go to the right when you see the IP camera information. In IP camera information, we select, you see as many cameras we have, we can add it in. So IPC0, we're gonna name it, so we can name it front. Uh, we're gonna choose the substream and enter the IP address of our camera. The intercom is gonna use the RTSP stream. By looking at the port number, you can see it's 554. We just need to enter the camera password and save those settings. So this is saved just for that one indoor station. So if you like to apply those same settings, the same cameras to multiple of your indoor stations, we can copy all those settings to all of your indoor stations. So now that camera will be able to see from every single indoor station in your house there. So we'll go back and I'm just gonna show the actual uh, unit itself. So we can go with a 10 inch tablet here. We'll go with the cameras, go to IP camera, and there is, just click the play button. The only thing I need to tell you, you need to make sure to display the picture, the stream that you're gonna try to connect with, it's gonna be in a 264 compression. Uh, so that's why I choose as well the, main, the, the substream instead of the mainstream and you don't need to have a mainstream here connected anyway so make sure the substream is selected but when the substream is selected it will be in a 264 compression all right so thank you very much guys and see you next time take care bye